very well the last person you understand how they talk how they speak you understand their heartbeat you are people that you are very close with i don't know about you i've been in a relationship that has never worked so many of them if i can't tell you, if i can't tell you about the success of relationships i can tell you about their failures but i know that every relationship you break we take away something from you and what did you take you away from you is part of your life that is committed to unifying yourself with somebody and that is why anytime you begin to associate with a man you begin to connect beyond just physical values you begin to connect soul you begin to connect spirit you begin to connect your mind so a time is going to come initially you may not know anything about the person but a time is going to come as you begin to dwell you are going to begin to have encounter seeing the person at night you begin to go to your village seeing his idols seeing many things that he doesn't even know about himself a time is going to begin to come you begin to think like the person act like the person and listen like the person i'm assuring you a time will come if the person is suffering from malaria you will start having malaria a time will come if the person is feeling sad you start feeling sad a time will come if the person is crying at home you start crying where you are a time will come the person is about to call you you will just see it in your spirit now you are becoming one why by the reason of dwelling and remaining together and sharing secret that no one knows now you become one in a society how you come into common union is the secret you know together so the bible said we need to have the mind of christ why because when we have the mind of christ we cannot become like christ say who then who know the things in the heart of god except the spirit of god who know the things in the heart of a man except the spirit of that man but you now say we have what the mind of christ not the spirit of christ why because you need the mind of christ to join into the spirit of the christ the bible said the believers were together in one accord in spirit and in mind that their mind and their heart was all together we may not be united in body but we can be united in the mind and in our heart how do we do that by dwelling coming to a level of understanding by the privilege of intimacy the secret you share together is the strength that bond you i realize that anytime i begin to know things about people i get more connected to them sometimes they are pain i don't know why people get so afraid sharing pain with people when you tell somebody about your pain the person loves you naturally only the devil will not like a person that is going through a situation i'm telling you sometimes you realize that the more secret you know about people the more you connect with them on a deeper level why now you are having the same mind they are replicating their mind to your own mind now you can think like them and act like them and reason like them but the danger is this you don't know too much about somebody you are not willing to connect with forever that is the danger of relationship when you begin to deeper with somebody that are not willing to remain and sustain for a while a time is going to come when you begin to break up it's as if part of yourself is being disenfranchised you are breaking different part of yourself into pieces why because now when you look at the person you see all your mind you see all your heart the most dangerous part is when you have sex with the person <laughs> now we can't go there i'm focusing on the mind because that one we can't help you we need to lay hands and cast out some spirit because you know demons demons in the mind but there are demons in the spirit the demons in the spirit have become landlord the demons in the mind are actually renters they are tenants. they are they are what do they call it now they are renters is it renters they are tenants the demons in the spirit are landlord if you have not remember anything remember this one today People that have demons in their spirit are what? The demons are landlord. The ones that have in their mind are what? Tenants. A time is going to come when you begin to dwell with a person you have the same kind of mind. One of the strongest systems that make men great in this earth is a sound mind. If the power of the mind can make you become one with the person, how that just because you are communicating with me every day now you begin to like me just because you are communicating with me every day forget about all those love languages it's a lie it's a scam all those love languages doesn't survive you in, uh, for long ladies tell me your love language i will do only one for a long time you get tired you now discover that mankind is a multitude a compendium of complexity 
that one love language doesn't keep the man that is why i can love you today tomorrow i don't love you it's not because you're not communicating my love language mankind is a design entity designed for variety the only thing that can keep you is keep upgrading your mind and my mind let's move together in the same mind and how do we do that dwelling together and communicating sharing things together understanding the way you think and the way i think that's why understanding will always be one of the key factors in relating with people. But how then do you sustain a sound man? But that is one of the greatest things you will ever need to succeed in this life. Anyone that has ever succeeded in this life is a man that has what I call a sound mind. There are a lot of people when you move out there you will see them they are mad some of them are schizophrenic others are they just need the help of psychiatry and if you are right anyway there is no cure for madness is that true no cure there is just a drugs that come them, but it will always come back again that's why they have to change them what i need you to understand is this a sound mind is one of the greatest assets God will ever give to you. God himself will never work with a madman. Have you ever seen an anointed man that is mad? It's a lie. God too doesn't like him. God will first of all change him. For God to work with you, you first of all change your mindset. Your mindset becomes one of your greatest tool and asset for greatness. Any man that has become great today is a man that has a mindset greater, stronger, sound. The mind must become one with Christ, thinking like the way God thinks and act. There are diverse kinds of mindset, but I need to take you through a little journey so that you can have a sound mindset. Because when you don't have a sound mindset, you are going to limit God. There are two to three things that limit God in this earth. Apart from prayerlessness, the other one is a wrong mindset. A mindset of a failure. A mind that is weak. A mind that doesn't have capacity. A mind that cannot contain. Apostle, you can't believe I ask somebody, how much money do you need in your life right now? The person tell me 10,000. 10,000. The person can think of 2 million. 10 million, 1 billion, 3 billion. If we sit down here with your church members, prophet, don't be, don't think. Where this Abuja, it will still be good. You have seen money. You know, me and my friend, we are in Victoria Garden City. We are in VGC. We went to Victoria Island. And apostle, every person we meet, they, they are discussing millions and billions and millions and billions. We saw a land and we decided to call. How much did the person even say? Is he a billionaire? We were shocked. Like just this small place, but that was Victoria Island, Lagos. To just pass through the gate of VGC is money. People living there are not thinking about thousands, that a million. So it's possible for you with your victim mentality to limit God blessing you in your life. So when people are praying, Father, give me this. You say, Father, ten thousand, Father, one thousand, Father, two thousand. So all your vision, all your vision is how to have a very small buka that you'll be selling food. Can't you think of how we need something bigger than Mr. Peace, Tantalizer of Seeking Republic? Even if you are called to cook, can't you think about something big? Are you cursed? A small mindset with it. A small mindset. People today that when you take them from the village and bring them to the city, they start crying. They will start crying. Their mindset cannot accommodate a city. I'm telling you, I was with somebody, they all AC. They may say, Oh, the AC off. I went to be the way to be the way. A guy is to make you comfort. He said, No, 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 no. Some people's life is against anything that is good. Their mindset is terrible. As long as you leave them in Umuzike. Oh, uh, what's the other village? Abu Neri. And I wanted to take Chief Ten. 
Aguileri, Anambrana, Aguileri. He said, I must do some community service, do this, do this. You know, I wanted them to give me Omeka Naya one of Aguileri. Oh, my daddy. But they said, I must marry an Igbo lady. But the last one I met, she ate my money. So there was no money to do community service again. She was my community service. So, <laughs> don't mind me, don't mind me. So I need you to understand that it's possible for you. Uh, if you don't have a very sound mindset, you will remain in a village for 30 years. Not because you are destined for the village, but because your mindset does not want anything that has to do with prosperity and abundance. I'm telling you, if you tell somebody, there are people in the village, they have scholarship to go to UK. They say they won't go. Why? I don't want to miss my people at home. Let me move at home. Why? Your mindset is too small. Too small. Too small. That can limit God for me to blessing you. There are many of you sitting there. You don't believe you deserve 5 million. You don't believe you deserve anything good in your life. You don't even believe it. If I tell you you become great today, you don't even believe it's possible. You don't even believe at all. The people that are great, do they have five heads? Is their name different from the normal name that all of you have? Do you know, Apostle, if all of us can have a sound mindset and believe God, it will amaze you what people like this will become. Managing directors, wives to governors and senators, many of you, you will begin. And do you know a funny thing about this mindset? When you begin to think about it, your dreams begin to change. I'm telling you, you stop dreaming. Somebody tell me, I'm doing about a village. I say, stop dreaming about your village. Start dreaming about city. In fact, I prefer you are dreaming about a port, a port, and your village, village. Something is calling you back there. You must separate yourself from them. When you begin to have a better mindset, you begin to dream better. Write the vision of your business. Let it be in two billion era. Your dream, you begin to speak about billion, 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 billion. Now you cannot begin to attract that reality. Do not begin to meet billionaires. Begin to meet people that are bigger, 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 bigger. Before you know it, when you associate with the wise, you become wise. When you associate with foolish, you become foolish. And my own proverb is this. When you associate with the poor, you become poor. When you associate with the rich, you become rich. May the Lord give you understanding. When a rich man wants to tell you goodbye, he doesn't say like this. He doesn't take you to the bus station. No, he sends a private jet to carry you back home. My friend is here. He has a friend that used private jet to just go. We were in the meeting, say we just. I say really. We were in Lagos. A man to buy a jet by tomorrow. I was like, really? Are you okay? You may not see them dancing on Facebook and showing it and snapping it. No, they don't care. To them, it's for mobility. These are men that go to UK tomorrow. Next tomorrow, they're in Dubai. Next day, they're in England. This day, they're in this. You need visa for five years. It becomes a prayer point for visa, visa, visa. Somebody don't need that. Your mindset is what is making you. When you begin to think big, you get to attract to I get what I'm saying now. It's not a sin for us to start small. But we must start small and grow big. This is just to let you know that God will demand you to have a strong mindset. I'm going to rush it. We are done. When we speak about your mind, your mind is made up of your faculty of thinking. Your mind is the center of the intelligence that you sustain. Your mind constitute of the unconscious mind. The unconscious mind speak about a part of your mind that has a lot of possibility that you have not yet tapped them. Do you know that Dangote was once upon a time a man that has nothing? Today he has everything. When he was nothing, his mind has the capacity to give him everything. Is that true? But that part of the mind that cannot that has that capacity and yet has not given him was what we call the unconscious mind. Right now, you don't know the things that are possibility in your unconscious mind. You are not just yet conscious. There is the conscious mind. 
the conscious mind speak about the things you are aware of that you have a phone now you have three shirts you have five good shoes you have a wristwatch but in your unconscious mind it's possible to have a company that produce phone a company that produce shoe a company that produce clothes do you understand now it's a possibility but you're not yet thinking of so it's part of that your unconsciousness the day you begin to think about that now is part of the consciousness so the goal is to come to a point where you can now begin to think this part then apart from that that is what we call the subconscious mind the subconscious mind is the product of your conscious mind that is believed that is meditated upon that is repeatedly agreed upon that has now become one with you and now is now your reality your subconscious mind is the dominary influence of your conscious mind upon your mind or upon your life which then become your reality for instance what's your name again precious precious have been playing keyboard consciously now even unconsciously you can play keyboard even subconsciously you can play keyboard it can get so worse that you can be sleeping and be doing like this without even knowing he did last week you can be a singer consciously you come to a point that subconsciously because you have seen too much now you are sleeping as this singing sometimes you don't walk on the road you are just singing oh change the bugo oh change the bugo someone say you are singing, singing i didn't even know i'm singing it's not part of your subconsciousness you can preach to a point that you now start preaching normally some of us preach even when we are done preaching we still preaching our dream you can prophesy to a point where you are sleeping and prophesying. Just the way you can be learning how to drive car consciously. A time will come, it has not become part of your subconsciousness. And you can just be moving and you are just driving with one hand, talking to somebody and still driving again. Now it's part of your reality. You can do something so well. A time will come. That even with that accurate giving 100% attention to you, you can do it. They can wake you from sleep, you can even do it. You can listen to circular song very well. Naturally, you can say all the lyrics without even it has not become part of your subconsciousness. The goal is that the scriptures become part of your subconsciousness, which now become your reality. I always give this story. People like Watchmani were persecuted in those times. So what they did was that they distribute the Bible and share it to pages, pages, and they give to people. A time came. The Bible was about the pages were also getting lost. They say, okay, the only way is now cram the Bible. So you, you are the book of Psalms, you are the book of Matthew, you are the book of Luke. Today we are opening the book of Psalms. We say book of Psalm chapter 15 by 12. Why are you not come and tell it to us? Because to hold the Bible is a sin in that time of the watchman. So the Bible have to not just become with them, the Bible became in them so they became one with the bible now unconsciously subconsciously that is a reality so they can quote it and say it and and it has become part of them that's why they try to kill them they can't die because now they are one with it that's the strength of islam how that by the power of meditation they bring you to a point where you become one with the quran and you can so believe it they call it brainwashing in scriptures also you needed to be brainwashed Every true religion strive upon the basis of brainwashing. If you are not yet brainwashed, you are not a true Christian. Because the subconsciousness informs the decision you make today. So you don't know why you are dancing. Kukere, 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 kukere. It's because unconsciously you dance it so well. Now it's part of your subconsciousness. Many people don't know why they begin to, to behave like Beyonce. It's because you watch Beyonce, you watch her song so much, and now you are acting like her without even knowing you are acting like her. It's the same way you can. It's funny enough today. I see many people behave like me. this guy. I've seen many of them. I mean, I saw somebody talk. I say, This is, I don't know how you did it, but that was too good. Somebody can clone you, like I'm telling you, somebody can observe you 
you know, you know the power of sight is the ability to be able to capture the same thing the power of repetition is the ability to be able to produce the same thing so somebody can watch you so well as they watch you for a while they can do the same thing again and again it's a possibility is the subconsciousness so the goal is that as we behold in a mirror like in a glass we are transformed into that same image by the product of the renewing of our mind according to scripture you see i touch you beloved do not be conformed to this world but be it transformed by the renewing of your mind why because your mind needs to be transformed to conform confirmation is the end of transformation that as you behold you get transformed then you conform you carry a nature a pattern and a structure that defines it but confirmation in itself is not the end product because as you conform you now transform again 